Hey, Royal Family. How is everyone doing? Mrs. O is back. Uh, yes, I will be going live Saturday. So you guys make sure to uh, stay tuned for that. But since I um, wanted a pot roast, I was like, okay, I'm just going to come on and show you guys this quick and easy um, pot roast recipe that I'm going to do. Nothing fancy, nothing hard, just something that my mom used to uh, make all the time, and this is how she would make it. All right, so let's get started with the ingredients. Here I have, I want to say it's a pound and a half of a uh, chuck roast. I know some people don't wash their meat off, but I do. And then pat it really dry. Okay, simple seasonings. We have granulated garlic, granulated onion, salt, black pepper. We have beef broth. And in the back, we have a can, which you guys are gonna have to try, of this French onion soup. Here I have maybe a cup of flour that I'm going to dredge the, um, the roast in, and then we're gonna lightly brown it in a cast iron skillet. Oh, excuse me. Okay, so let's just, let's go ahead and get started. So what I'm going to do with the chuck roast, and remember this, you guys, whenever you're touching meat and you have any seasoning or flour, <clears throat> please do not reuse that seasoning or flour. Throw it out, okay? You definitely do not want cross-contamination. I know I'm really big on that. All right, so here I've just mixed up the garlic, the onion, the salt, and the pepper in the bowl. And I think you get a better uh, distribution of it if you mix it all together instead of doing one by one. So you see that? So I'm just gonna take it and I'm just gonna put it over the pot roast. And no, we're not adding any onions or carrots to this. Because on the side, I know I'm country, I'm sorry. I have some purple hull peas and I wanted some okra in it and some cornbread. So that's what I'm eating. Okay, let's just pat it dry. I mean, pat the seasoning down. Let's turn it over. And I did trim some of the fat off. All right, let's do this side. Because we want that flavor. So you guys getting ready for Mother's Day? And what do you want for Mother's Day? I know most women, honestly. We have almost everything. I mean, my daughter is like, I don't know what to get you. And my son, you know. He's one of these macho men. He don't he don't shop. He just give you money, which is quite fine with me. Money is always good. Okay, I've seasoned the back liberally. Now what we're going to do is take some flour. Now we're not deep frying it. We're just getting a small crust on it because what that's going to do once uh, we do this, it is going to yield a gravy once we pour the French onion soup and the beef broth in. Okay, can you see that? And just kind of tap it, tap it. And I am heating up, which it seems like it's getting too hot. I am heating up a cast iron skillet with two tablespoons of canola oil. All right, let's turn it over. And again, please chunk this flour and the seasoning. Do not use it again because I'm touching the meat and then going in with the flour. Now back in the old day, old older days, my mom used to do chicken in a, a paper sack and she would leave the flour <laughs> No kidding. 
for about a week or two. We never got sick. So, I don't know. I just know, you know, I've gotten sick before uh, from cross-contamination. So, I try my best not to do that. Okay, you see that? I want to show you. Can you see that? Okay. That is flour good enough. And we want to take the access off. So I'm going to put this in the skillet right quick, and then I'll come back and show you guys. All right, here it is in the cast iron skillet with the two tablespoons of canola oil. And we just want uh, each side to be browned. And yes, we're actually going to cook it in the cast iron skillet in the oven. So for future oven, to 350 degrees, and I think this should be done in about an hour. But once I have both sides brown, I will come back and show you what we do next. All right, it has browned on both sides. You can still hear it. And here I've added four babies that I did not show you. So what we're going to do is pour the French onion soup. Here. I'm telling you, the French onion soup is going to take it to another level. Okay. Can you see that? You have to try this French onion soup. I promise. And now we're going to take the beef broth. And I'm going to say add a cup if I can get it open all right hold on you guys I gotta get it open and try not to pour on top because we want the French onion to stay on top so let's just go around it like that don't make a mess. Okay, this is what I think I'll do. I'll put it in this uh, French onion can and it's easier to pour. So we just want it like, I'm gonna say a cup and a half. Can you see that? Okay, if you have a cast iron top, uh, put that on. If not, uh, put fall on top of it. And we're going to put it in a 350 degree oven. I'm going to say about an hour and a half until the meat is for tender. So when I come back, I will show you guys the finished product and the finished presentation. And yes, I ain't messing up no more dishes. So the presentation will be in this cast iron skillet. All right, see you guys soon. One quick note. If you use foil, go ahead and poke about four or five holes in it. That way it will help thicken the gravy and release the seam. You see the little holes? So just pork in it. Poke with a knife the little slits so the steam can be released. If you have a cast iron skillet top, make it halfway do not close it completely. You know how you kind of tilt the top a little where some of the steam can release? Then do it with the cast iron top. All right, going in the oven. Okay, Royal Family, here is the finished product of the French onion pot roast. Uh, you see, you guys. <laughs> I know, I keep telling you I'm country. We would always eat pot roast with, of course my mom would use white bread, but since I'm older, I do wheat bread. But it took the pot roast about two hours. And when I tell you the flavor of that French onion soup is so, so delicious. Oh my Lord. Now I won't be able to pick up the sandwich because I also like gravy on my bread, you know, and it gets a little sloppy. So I'm just going to 
do a piece of the uh, of the pot roast. Can you see how it's just falling to pieces? Let me show you this. You see that? I mean, it is some kind of delicious. So please try the French onion soup. Next time you do the pot roast, I promise you, you will start doing your pot roast with the French onion soup. See, I can never get a full bite. Let me see. Hopefully you can see that. But the sauce on it is just out of sight. All right, you guys. Um, this is just a quick video I did because I wanted uh, the pot roast. But I will see you guys on Saturday so we can do the Mother Day's dessert. And also, if you like, you can toast your bread. You could use it on a hoagie, add tomatoes and lettuce and all of that good stuff. I'm just country and I like it with bread, gravy, and meat. God bless you, and I'll see you this Saturday.